so what is going on guys and welcome back to a brand new episode here on the channel and we are at the pond of Philip guys this koi pond is about 110,000 liters look at the quality of the garden and the koi that are in this pond are so huge so before I introduce you to uh, wow <laughs> there were some koi jumping just after feeding so before I introduce you to Philip guys uh, just a very quick look through the garden it's one big pond with a very nice bridge in the middle and believe it or not the smallest koi in this pond is around 70 cm the rest is bigger guys we got some fish around 95 maybe one meter in size it's absolutely crazy we've got some very nice trees and, oh man guys look at this chocolate brown shakoi we got some very nice tons of show out there the koi are owned by uh, by philip well guys before uh, we're going to show you the koi of course adi is still here and his wife or girlfriend i'm philip's girlfriend oh philip <laughs> <laughs> No okay, so we, we have to cut that out. So sorry. Oh man. All right. So uh, <laughs> let's uh, meet the owners and Philip. <laughs> Hi, Philip. Thank you so much for uh, inviting me and having me here first. Thank you. Uh, it's uh, a really honor to see such a great koi collection, such a great garden. And uh, of course, we've, we've already been to uh, the Koi Lounge in Tutti, but this is this is the crown on the hobby. Please tell me a little bit more about your garden and pond and the Koi collection. Everything uh, I, you. I think it's better when she. <laughs> I mean, we have around like what 55 koi in wow. here. Yeah, over the few, last couple of years. Uh, yeah, collect them. Yes. Uh, That's great. Garden pretty new this year actually. So So yeah. it's just finished. Yeah, the ex garden. exactly. The garden is just one year old. How old is yeah. the koi pond? Uh one year old too. One year old. We too. did it last wow. year. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. And we got a pretty nice filtration system over there and also a small house with also the rest of the filtration exactly. system in there. Exactly. Yeah, it's not yet finished because there is like a deck coming too. So uh -huh. that's covered with a lounge on top of it, but it's not yet there. So. Who did the design of the koi pond? Was Philip. it Was it Philip? Yeah, with like uh, the color, you know, you can spray. Yeah. So he did that just around the garden doing the sp you know, with the spray. Absolutely then, wonderful. Yeah, that was how it is born. And at the beginning we thought like 50 to 60,000 liters. Well, now it's 110. How long did it took to build the pond? Uh, how long does it take? I mean, around a few, yeah, six months, around. That's quick. Yeah, we did, with you know, so yeah, we did a lot of with uh, friends and family. So it took a little bit longer, of course, because we could do it on the weekend, maybe in the evening, but not during the day, always. Exactly. So. So uh, guys, uh, I will show you much more of the pond, but most impressive are those koi that are swimming here in the uh, in this pond. Uh, how many koi are they? Around 55. 55. Around, yeah. And we how, don't know by heart. So it's how big is the biggest one and how small is the smallest one? <laughs> well, well, the smallest is very small, like maybe, I don't know, there, I don't know, what, 20, 25? Okay, 30. And the biggest is over a meter. And yeah. that is probably yeah. the Karashi Koi? Uh, yeah, and it's a Chagoi. Uh, he, I think it's there the one here. she goes. Yeah, here yeah, she yeah, is. One oh five. Wow, pieces. one meter and five cm, guys. Yeah. There yeah. And there's also around over a meter. Absolutely. And the Yamabuki, you know? Yamabuki is oh, 97. Here. Yamabuki is yeah, 97. So we got this Yamabuki. That's our 97 beauty. cm. Yeah, is that also your favorite koi? Do you have a favorite koi in the pond? <laughs> yeah, but that's actually a very small one, uh, a Goromo. I saw her. I mean, a small. Just no, a couple there she is. A small, I think she's 65, 70 cm. 70. <laughs> there goes the Goromo. Do you know the breeder of the Goromo? Konishi. Konishi. Yeah. So we, everything yeah. here is Konishi. Konishi. Yeah. And Philip, what is your favorite koi? Jiao Tsuri, it's my favorite koi, but I, 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 I like this uh, Ochiba very much. It's one of the perfect uh, Ochiba from Konishi, also. Great. And what was the first koi you bought? Because ah. it always starts with one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's I a mean, Chagoi, Ginrin yeah. Chagoi. 
Yeah, that was the first one because we wanted one which is a little bit, you know, it's coming, uh -huh. it's coming to the hand. So it's a chagoy, but it's really old, like more than 10 and a little bit, yeah, not. <laughs> Uh, well, it's hard to find she? her. Probably she's in the corner there. But is there uh, a kind of philosophy about the, the types of varieties you got in the pond? Because I see a lot of different varieties, yeah. but I don't see so much Gosanke. We started with non Gosanke, and now, you know, over the years, you like Gosanke more and more. Uh, but yeah, and Konishi has a lot of uh, Karashi, so that's yes. why it's a lot of yellow in our pond. Um, but yeah. Exactly. Oh, there <laughs> is the first koi of this. Uh, <laughs> she is the, she is the one that is responsible for the passion and yeah. all the koi in this uh, in this pond. And someone told me, that person told me, <laughs> that there are also some prize winners uh, from the All Japan Koi Show in uh, in this pond. Can you tell me a little bit more about that? Oh, yeah. We got the beko. And I will try to find some footage of that Beko when I'm at home because I think I still have the original footage of the old Japan Koi Show. She's much bigger now than she was uh, at the uh, at the Koi Show. Oh, yeah, and, um... Yamabuki, of course. And we got the Yamabuki oh, we... on this side. Here she goes. And she won also a very good prize. Do you still know? Remember what prize it was? Prize. Uh, no. <laughs> some, some special prize. I don't some know. special prize. We will uh, we will Bye try guys. to put that in the comments later when we find out what uh, <laughs> what it was. Wow! Look at this. I saw some skimmers. We got one skimmer over there yeah. uh, and okay. one in the corner. How many bottom drains do you use? Seven. Seven bottom drains. And I think that is not a luxury. I think that's very very good because yeah. the pond is so big. You really need. Uh, a lot of uh, skimmers and uh, bottom drains to get all the dirt out of the out of the system and from there on it goes to the filtration system in the corner okay. Philip is able to turn off the skimmers when he starts feeding and he has to show us that trick <laughs> we got this one and that one takes care of switching off the skimmers we got two uh, drum filters from uh, Oasa yes. The Profi Clear Premium XL. I just wrote it from there. <laughs> <laughs> so, can you tell me a little bit uh, about why you choose for this? Why you choose this system? Why I choose this system? Whew. It's a good question. But first, I want to make this uh, brush the field. <laughs> brush? Uh, brush? Yeah, oh, like yes, the brush. brush. Yes, the, yeah. the Japanese yeah. uh, we biological like filter. Brush, yes. But it would have been huge. So, it would uh, yeah. took, take the whole area here. So we decided to go with that, and um, yeah, and it's good here for very you, easy, for good experience with Oase. So we decided to have this one, and you can, you know, with the app, you see everything. So it's pretty, um, yeah, it's amazing actually. So yeah, yeah you can ev take everything out individually and clean it. So it's yeah, not the whole brush or something. So. It's a very easy system and you also have to control, you know, he can check exactly. it when he's in the business or in his office, he can check if everything is still Or when you're running. at holiday, you exactly. can just monitor yeah. all the systems from yeah. your uh, exactly. smartphone or yeah. tablet. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Wow, that's crazy and that's, that's really nice because uh, nowadays the, the techniques are getting better and better and even OAS is doing a very good job on that and uh, I think there's, they're one of the biggest companies in the world at the moment who provides such great systems but not only provide them also develop them and that's very important and then we got some biological filters uh, in here yeah. we are biology actually yes sorry biology uh, and of course this is a gravity setup so they are around 50 cm in the ground yeah. 8,000 8, uh, liters of biology. Yes. And we got, of course, the rest of the systems. That is uh, work out. Do you heat the pond in the winter time? No. No. Just Only keep it as, yeah. as it is. Wow. 
All right, so thank you so much for uh, having me here. And uh, thank you for being people, here. Uh, you're, well, you're welcome. Uh, it's a pleasure. And uh, if people have any questions, please, guys, let them uh, leave them in the comments of this uh, this video. Uh, I'm going to enjoy some more koi with you guys. If you're not sub subscribed, guys, to the channel, please subscribe. Don't forget to like the video and share it with all your friends. Bye.